Here's a flag, and there's a piece of silk. We want to make the flag look as if it's printed on that silk. We could just change the mode of this layer from normal to multiply. We could see the silk through it, but it doesn't look like it's on top of the silk. Let's hide the flag. And now let's save the file with just that silk layer visible. If we now pick up the flag again, we can go to Filter, Distort, Displace, leave the settings as they are, and it's going to ask you to choose a file. And we'll choose the file we just saved. And what's happened here is light-coloured pixels from the file we saved have moved the image up and to the left, dark colours have moved it down and to the right. But it has made it far too rough on the edges. So let's undo. Hide the flag and let's duplicate the silk layer. And this time we'll use Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur and we'll blur it enough so that we keep the big folds and wrinkles, but so that we lose all of that surface texture. And now save the file again. Hide this layer, back to the flag layer, and let's do filter, distort and displace once more. Once again it's going to ask us for a displacement map, we'll choose the file we just saved, and remember this time the blurred silk was the top layer in the saved document. And there is our rippling flag. If we now change the mode from normal to multiply, it really does look as if it's rolling over the folds in this piece of silk. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, there's a hundred more like it on YouTube, and please subscribe to this channel.